So what do you think about this lipstick, huh? Hi, Deborah here, also known as Doobage42, with Tuesday Reviews, the lip edition. Yes, I did promise uh, lipstick reviews coming up because I have gotten so many new ones lately. And uh, let's just hop right in there because there are a bunch of them. And I'll tell you about this one a little bit later. First, I want to tell you about this cute kit with a cute box. Look, tin kit. It is the real, their real big sexy lip kit by Benefit. I love the box. I had to get it. Pop it open. There are four lipsticks in here. This is some of the few that's not liquid lipsticks that I ended up with this time. A variety of colors. There's Flame Game, uh, Pink Thrills, Revved Up Red, and Lusty Rose. The different thing about these, pop one out of its little case here. Oh, you will see the difference. Pop it open because, you know, it's just a cream lipstick. Wind it up a little bit and you see the shape. What? It is this weird teardrop shape thing where one side has a slightly darker color than the main part. You're supposed to be able to kind of line your lips at the same time. Interesting concept, kind of hard to get used to. The colors are kind of cool though. I'll go ahead and swatch this one for you. This one is kind of an orangey red. Kind of fun. You can see a little bit the different dark darkness part on one side, but it's not as stark as you would think. Just draw a little bit with the dark one there. Definitely not as stark as you would think. The wear on these is okay. It's not spectacular, but it doesn't claim to be long wearing. So that's a good thing. You're going to put it on. You're going to reapply it at later on. But it's just kind of a cool little concept and some fun colors that I wouldn't normally have tried. Not a big orange girl, but it's fun to wear every now and again. Would I go out and buy these separately? Probably not. Just because A, it's not long wearing and B, uh, the whole line your lips at the same time thing, kind of gimmicky, but I love the box. I can't wait to just pop these out of the box, use the box for something else because tin boxes are wonderful. Something I got which I did absolutely love was a little Marc Jacobs set. My first Marc Jacobs oh, came in this box. Just a little cardboard box to bundle it together because it's two pieces. It is the long wear lip set and let me tell you, it is long wear. This stuff stayed on really well and did not dry the lips. It's not like a liquid lipstick kind of thing. It's a cream lipstick that just stays on really, really well and feels nice on the lips. You still had some, some movement. It wasn't dry and cracky. Now this little two piece set are some nudes. First, the liner, small versions of the real size, of course, which I love because you can try stuff out without spending a fortune twirl it up a little bit. There's your liner. Go ahead and nice and creamy. Goes on easily. Now for the lipstick. It's so cute, isn't it? A little bit too, but it's set up like a real full-size lipstick. And this color is a nice nude color. Let's see if it has a color name on there. Slow Burn. Yeah, whatever. Names are names. A little swipe and you can see it's a beautiful darker nude it's not you know so nude you don't know you're wearing lipstick but it looks really nice on and it does wear all flipping day I put this on to go to work with use the liner use the lipstick it was there all day I had to take it off at the end of the day now that's saying something because I chew through lipstick you know like nobody's business I'm like a kid eating chapstick apparently because it's just gone usually Another cream lipstick that I got. Oh, I adore it. It is by Urban Decay. This is Urban Decay Vintage. I think I found it marked down a little bit on Sephora's website because, you know, A, VIB sale, B, a little bit on sale. Yes, love it. Love the lipstick case. It's a nice little silvery tin case with the Urban Decay logo on it. Pop that sucker open. Really pretty. Nice packaging. Says Urban Decay on it. Nice lettering. Swirl that up. Ooh, look at that purple. It's a purple with a slight 
a silvery tone under it. The color is called Plague. I love the color names that Urban Decay chooses. I mean, really, Plague. But I've worn this several times now and I just adore it. It looks really good on me because I'm, I'm big on wearing pinks and purples and stuff. And it goes with a lot of colors that I wear. It goes with my hair. I have a lot of purple in my hair. Let's do a little swatchity of this one. And you can kind of see a little bit of the silvery undertones to it. It looks so much better on the lips. And boy, you could really do an almost vampire-y kind of look with it or maybe zombie look. Um, a little bit of a darker liner on the outside and then this yes it's nice and dark and purple and yummy so much fun Urban Decay you really did it this time this is real I have also been getting a brand that I never had a lot of stuff from before um, Tarte a little Tartist set here two little small sizes of some of their colors um, lip wardrobe 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 lip wardrobe hmm lip wardrobe volume two I don't even know the names of these, a rose and something. They're matte. They're uh, a little bit drying, just like most liquid lipsticks are that are matte, but not bad. And they stay on pretty well. The colors though, the colors are pretty cool. I have several of these and I'm not sure which ones came with which set because I kind of went nuts and have a bunch of little tart lipsticks now. I'll show you. These are some of them. Yeah, I know, right? I'm pretty sure that this is the one that came with my give me some summer lip thing that I'll tell you about in a second. Here, I'll give you some swatches of these. And of course, they don't put their names on them and I hate that about Tarte. It's like, well, it's the one that's kind of beigey, brown. You know how bad I am with names, come on. Okay, this little guy, I'm gonna be scrubbing my hand layer, good grief. Wow, look at that. It's super gorgeous, super opaque as well. And that is a nice nude color. You can be nude and it's a little on the warm side, but still very, very pretty. This next little guy is a little bit lighter, a little more nude-ish, I guess. Come on, pop out there. Yes, I'm talking to my lipstick. See, a little bit lighter more uh, your lips but better kind of thing. Looks really, really pretty on. No, I'm not wearing it right now because I'm gonna get to that, okay? This third one is more of a pinky tone, corally pink. Never thought that I could wear corals, but this lipstick turned that around. I've worn this a few times, gotten a ton of compliments on it, and I've decided, yeah, I can do some corally lipsticks. Look at that pretty, pretty coral red. I am adoring it. And these little sets for me are perfect because I tend to get tired out of stuff before I'm done with the big set. And besides, the big ones of these, think about how much money I would have spent. And these, I got these as bundle packs. Not much at all. And I get to try so much different stuff. Look at this little guy. This one I have actually worn a bunch. This is not the long wear one. Um, this is a lip paint. Holy crap, it goes on a little streaky, so you kind of have to work at it a little bit, but that color is pretty freaking amazing. Trust me on that, it's kind of a berry, kind of a smushed up raspberry, blackberry blend that you are about to eat as a fruit compote, and instead you put it on your lips and you walked around and went mwah, because it's awesome. I did talk about one of those coming out of the Sephora Favorites Give Me Summer Lips collection. This is the lid to it. I love these little collections, again, because I get to try out stuff that I normally wouldn't get to try. In here, there was a Tarte, um, a Kat Von D, which I think is in my purse. It wasn't with this, so I'm not sure what I've done with it, but I really do like it. Um, an Urban Decay liquid lipstick and a NARS liquid lipstick. Some of these I had never tried anything from before. I'd never had anything from Anastasia before. That's also in there, Anastasia. I'd never had anything from NARS. Uh, Kat Von D, I was only familiar with her eye stuff, not really the lipsticks. And um, of course Tarte, I've just jumped on the Tarte bandwagon lately and you know have a bunch of their stuff. Let me show you some of these. Remember me telling you I'm not really an orange wearing girl? This 
lipstick surprised me. It's kind of sheer. It's not a super opaque, but look at that color. It's kind of glittery and glistening without being glitter, you know, just a little shimmery. It is so very pretty. Let's go up here. It's kind of a lip gloss with just a little bit of shimmer and tint. See it up there? I know my lights and my camera, they make it really hard to see, but when I put it on, I was trying it on thinking I would probably wipe it off and do something else because not so much of a you know, color I'm into, but this is a full size NARS. Oh yeah. The name of this color is probably the best ever. It's called Orgasm. Yeah. Walk into Sephora and ask for an orgasm. I dare you. Go ahead, please. And leave a video telling me how it went. Okay. This is freaking adorable. It looks so good on and perfect for summer. I would never have tried this going and buying it on its own. That's why I like it in these multi-packs and trying new and different things because I'm kind of in love with this now. This one from Urban Decay, you know how I gushed about the uh, Plague lipstick a little while ago. I love the color. It's very pretty. It's a very long wearing, oh, I'm running out of space, long wearing liquid lipstick kind of a pinky, rosy color kind of nude. Problem is though, I put it on and then about 20 minutes later, I had to take it off. Now, I don't know if my lips were dry to start off with, but this was the most drying liquid lipstick I have ever put on my lips. Yes, I'm gonna try it again, maybe with some a light balm underneath first because I love the color and I know this stuff's gonna stay put. Hello, I had to scrub to get it off. But please, why did it have to dry my lips out so much? It was so pretty and I think this is a full size. I'm gonna keep trying though. Oh, and the name of this color, Trivial. As in pursuit, not sure, Trivial. Before I get to my final and favorite thing, in the Sephora Give Me Some Summer Lips collection. I want to tell you about another collection that I bought. This little guy. Crayola and Clinique got together, buddy. And they did some cute stuff. Look! Chubby sticks in a collection in a crayon box, okay? I'm not going to do a full review on these because I'm going to link up here and uh, let you click over and go to Emily's review of them. Emily Noel, she does the best reviews on YouTube, I think. And she did a full review on these. And she's the reason I bought these. She talked about the pros, the cons, and how, how good they were and what they did and what they didn't do. And I loved it. My only problem with this set, and this may have been something that I did, so I'm not gonna complain or send it back or anything, is one of them, arrived broken. I'm being really careful to not dump that off because you bet I'm still going to use this. A couple of these are the intense chubby stick intense sticks. They have a lot more color. This is one of them. It's so, it says red violet. It is so pretty. It's not opaque by any means. It's a gloss with a tint, but oh, I love it. Here, I'll pull out one of the other intense ones. The brick red. No, brick red isn't even an intense one. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, sorry, I'm a dork. Open that sucker up gently because I don't want to bust it. Look at that. It looks like a crayon. Oh my God. Adorable. That's a chubby stick. That's a lip gloss, folks. A lip balm. You can do, you can do a light stroke too and get a little bit of a lighter color. But the other ones are not nearly as intense and that's fine. You don't need all intense. Some of these just give a little hint of another color on top. And some of the color names, Brick Red, Wild Strawberry, Mango Tango, which always reminds me of Wango Tango, which puts songs in my head, so we're not going to go there. Marvelous, Pink Sherbert, Fuzzy Wuzzy, and that red violet color that I busted, apparently. But I adore them. Again, I link to Emily's thing. Link's also going to be down below if you missed that one, because her review is spectacular. My final item of the lip review extravaganza came out of that Give Me Some Summer Lips collection. 
I said I had never owned anything from Anastasia before because it's kind of an expensive brand and it sounds all fancy. Well, this is a lip gloss. It's this. I'm going to come in for a close up on this one. I want you to see how opaque that is. That is not many layers. That is one layer and I touched it up with, you know, another little swipe because this lip gloss is freaking fantastic. Got the little wand. They've all got the little wand, you know. Uh, let's go here. We'll go on my knuckle. I want you to see how opaque that goes on with just a little swipe. It doesn't go on streaky. Now it does, it's a gloss. It doesn't really dry down much. Eventually when it wears off, cause I've worn this all day before, it wears off kind of evenly and you end up with still this nice bright pink color without the, the shiny lip gloss part. You can blot off a good bit of it and still have the color. But I was so impressed with the fact that I thought it was just going to be, oh, there's going to be a little pink tone to it when I put it on because it's a lip gloss. No. This stuff is full on bright pink gorgeousness. I wore this to work. Oh, it's called Rio, by the way. And there are several ladies at work. We all compare makeup and stuff and talk about it. There's one every day I come in, I have to come by her desk to get to mine. She's like, let me see what you're wearing today. <laughs> she loved this. She's like, that is so you. And it's so pretty. What is it? And I told her, I said, it's a lip gloss. You wouldn't believe it. Oh my God. You know, where'd you get that? And we talked about it for a while and everything. But Anastasia, my favorite of that Give Me Summer Lips. I was not thinking it would be. It surprised me in a good way. Nice to be surprised in a good way, isn't it? What do you think about all the lip stuff? Do I have enough swatches on my arm? We could take a poll and see, you know, how long it's going to take me to wash all this stuff off because a lot of it is long wearing and it's like scrub, 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 scrub. But uh, yeah, all very pretty stuff. I love makeup. I hope you do too. Click up here for some more uh, makeup y type stuff or review type stuff on a lot of different things. Down here to subscribe if you would. Please give me a like before you go and I'd love your comments. See ya.